The Andrews government is holding last-minute negotiations with crossbench MPs in a bid to pass its controversial pandemic bill through the upper house as early as today. The Premier may be forced to make a host of concessions which could include scrapping vaccine mandates and increasing independent scrutiny of pandemic powers. The Premier Daniel Andrews was very keen on setting the narrative. Restrictions lifted and almost back to normal. I don't think we should allow anything to detract away from the amazing work that Victorians have done. In reality, he must have known the main story was elsewhere. The controversial pandemic bill in tatters and the debate paused. The results of the division ice 20, no 17, therefore the motion is carried. Only 48 hours earlier, the government wanted the bill sorted as a matter of urgency. Now, the handbrake's on. Returning MP Adam Somurak eyeing the ultimate revenge, voting against the bill, evening up the numbers and effectively killing it off. The government scrambling for one fresh supporter to get it passed. Andrews remaining tight-lipped on the pest that is Somurek. No, I've got no message for any individual member of the upper house or, or any individual member. Uh, we are all about outcomes. No, I have not. We are all about outcomes. We don't have the numbers in the upper house. Uh, we'll just do our normal thing, which is to work with everybody and, and try and get an outcome uh, that, uh, that keeps us safe. There's no doubt it's a hot topic. This is the first time that I've seen Mr Somurek take any interest in policy. He has always been a backroom party man. He barely remembers the names of the people in the chamber. They don't have to uh, do what I say, obviously, but they've got a, have, they need to have a professional courtesy, at least listen to what we've had to say. Well, the government now seek to negotiate more broadly before forming new pandemic control policy. What we'll do is what we always do. We'll engage in good faith with anyone who's willing, uh, with genuine intent. And it's not the only drama. It was revealed anti-terrorism police charged a man who urged protesters to bring weapons to Parliament and execute Premier Andrews. I was asked this morning, was I shocked? I said, no. These people are extremists. They are extremists. Now, I can't comment on the individual. He's been charged. And the last thing I want to do is jeopardise him getting whatever justice he richly uh, deserves. Those threats and intimidation has no place in Australia. We're a civil, peaceful society. Where we have disagreements, we don't handle them with violence. And there can be no tolerance for that. And there should be no tolerance for that. Mark Stevens, Sky News.